dollars. I'll load him up. Hit with Jason and Mary's party. Hi, Carla. Are you riding the bus with us? We're on our way up to West Lebanon to welcome really Jason though. and Mary Sorens. They're finally the moving to New Hampshire. This is going to be a great welcome home party. This is a, a time of Who are you? fellowship and love. Me, I'm Dave Minson. Another question. Okay, and we came here to say hello to Mary and Jason because they finally got here. Okay, and the least we could do is come by and eat some pizza, maybe drink some. Well, I'm, not, I'm, I'm on the wagon, so. But everybody else can it's drink only to beer. Be sociable, though, right? I'm here to socialize and, you know, kind of bring joy and happiness to everyone's life. <laughs> hey, don't drop your drawers. Yeah. <laughs> don't drop your drawers. <laughs> Finally, right? Yeah. Welcome great. home. Man. Thank you, Bill. It's great to be here. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> How do you perceive your really? relationship yeah, exactly. to the Free State Project? Do you founder, godfather, right supreme yeah. god emperor? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I, I think that's for others to decide, really. Uh, I, I like to stay involved however I can. Um, and I used to have a variety of formal roles. I've been president, treasurer, secretary, all, you know, all those different things that, uh, that needed doing. Um, and then for a while I thought, you know what, let's let people who are actually in New Hampshire take the lead on some of that stuff. And so I stepped aside a little bit, but it allowed me to focus on other things that I think have helped the FSP, like the Freedom in the 50 States Project. So, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it's just uh, coming up with, with ideas, new ideas to promote uh, liberty in New Hampshire. That's, that's my forte, I guess. That's so that hits on something that I've been curious about. I mean, to a large extent, you have been, uh, until now, uh, largely an outside observer. Oh, yeah. And from my perspective inside the state, it, it seems to me, like the message of liberty, the arguments of liberty, um, the activism of liberty has uh, started to present itself in such a manner that the state is unable to ignore it. They are required to respond. 
from outside, largely, despite the fact that you are very familiar with what's going on. How does it? How does it appear from outside? Yeah, I think I, that's that's how it appears from outside as well. Um, you know, police forces are militarizing everywhere, but it's only in New Hampshire that there's a big stink about it. And it's not just something that only free staters are concerned about, or only libertarians are concerned about. The Concord Monitor, you know, issued an editorial being very skeptical of, of the need for a Bearcat, and uh, it's, this is a skepticism that we see throughout New Hampshire society. So free staters are just tapping a vein there that's that's already very deep in New Hampshire. Um, from the outside, it, it looks like the Free State Project is much more active, much more um, relevant and contemporary than it was even three years ago. Uh, you know, it has a very big presence on Facebook. There, it, it responds quickly to opportunities like the, the Bearcat episode, um, uh, to, to other opportunities that have come up, the Cynthia Chase thing. Right? Uh, the FSP is responding quickly to that. In the past, it would have, we would have just sort of muddled through and done some stuff online, but it really wouldn't have uh, gotten, you know, gotten mainstream media attention. The Bearcat stuff has gone national now, which is interesting, you know, for a sm sort of small town New Hampshire story. So um, I think it's because we've got a, we've got a, a paid full-time person now who's just dedicated to doing this, and, and uh, also all credit to our president, who's still a volunteer. And she's done a great job, uh, you know, she's got great media sensibilities. And we see it with uh, more and more people signing up for the FSP, more and more people moving. The sign-up rate has doubled over something like the last three years. So it's, it's great to, to see that. From the outside, it looks like things are happening. Excellent. Well, again, welcome home, and I'll let you get back to directing traffic. All right, thanks, Bill. Yeah, I Researching Liberty online, uh, came across Free Talk Live somehow, and started listening to them. Uh, they mentioned the Free State Project a lot, and started researching that, and it seemed like a pretty good idea. Um, it was probably about two years later that I was actually convinced to move to New Hampshire. We visited. We visited first, um, met a bunch of people, drank with a bunch of people. It was pretty awesome. Um, and then, year later. and then moved a year later, yeah. Uh, our moving story, we haven't had an awesome move-in party like this yet. Uh, our stuff's still in storage, which isn't awesome, but uh, we made a decision that we wanted to start a family. There's only a certain amount of time that uh, the way we want to give birth, that sounds weird. Makes sense. Uh, but uh, yeah, we wanted we wanted to be part of this community and make roots. And uh, in six, we made the we'd already had it on our minds for about eight months, nine months that we wanted to move. We we'd, uh, he'd already signed, and I was yep, and I'd already made the commitment to do that, and I hadn't signed yet. But uh, we made the decision in April. Uh, he had a job here in June. We did seasonal work, and we've been living uh, in Manchester and hope to do our own real moving party. Um, get us some permanent housing in the next month or two. So that's our moving story. We're waiting for all of you to be here in two months to move us in. Um, but 
In terms of the Free State Project, the next two years, obviously a lot has happened in our life in the past two years. A lot can happen in two years. You know, the economy could crash, there could be a nuclear bomb. You, you never know what could happen. Um, you could have a kid, you could pass away, you never know. It's what, life. What I'd like to see in the next two years is, is you know, 20,000 of us making the decision to, to come here and, and getting people to move. And we talk all the time about politics and, and getting two free sitters on the same ticket against each other. That's what I want to see in two years. We're going through elections right now. I, I want, you know, the next two years to look like it, it's, you know, we're on all tickets. We're in every ward. Um, you know, not like brother versus brother, but, you know, fighting for liberty and, and actually making, uh, you know, real campaign promises and, you know, talking about things that matter when you're debating with somebody that you're running against. That would be very awesome to see in the next two years. The best way to do that would be Trigger the move. Trigger the move. Yeah. Sign, just sign the, the pledge. pledge. I watched so many no awesome what, people sign, sign the, the pledge. pledge. Just do it. Come here. We just need 20,000 people to sign up to pledge to come here. We don't even need 20,000. We need like eight now. Just 8,000. It's a small amount. We just need 8,000 more. It's not much. And then everybody can move here. We can start building a better community, a freer community. And we can pretty much do what we want without, you know, hopefully without the government intruding on us, on our lives. We don't want that to happen. We want to get away from the government telling us what to do. We're starting the. We're starting with the 1,300 of us here now. We need. We need a lot more of you to come. Right. Welcome home. Welcome, Welcome home. home. Okay, blathering. Okay, so I, I guess we're doing some videos about uh, people who moved here for the Free State Project, and I. My name is Kelly, and I moved here in 2008 from Utah. So it's been five years, coming on five years this September, and. Um, why did I move here? Should I answer that? <laughs> I moved here because I didn't want to be left out on it, or didn't want to be left out in the fun. I'd heard about it and um, you know, being back in, well, anywhere that you are, you, if you're a libertarian, you're in the minority and most people think you're kind of weird. Not so much now, but definitely a few years ago. And I wanted to be a, among a bunch of people who uh, were like-minded. And so that's why I'm here. I uh, moved to New Hampshire um, in the late 90s. In 2008, I learned about Ron Paul and the Free State Project. And, um, so you're more of a native. I am. This is good. So you got you to gotta, you gotta express this. We're not all transplants. Some of us have been here for a long time. It's not just a bunch of people infiltrating the well, place or New Hampshire. I was a transplant from Massachusetts in the 90s. And then I met people in the Free State Project. Um, Looking into Ron Paul before that, I didn't really think that I cared that much about um, any of this, any liberty or any of that. And then, um, once I woke up, I guess I realized that um, I do care a lot, and uh, I then left the state of New Hampshire um, in 2011 and just moved back. The end of 2000. She couldn't stay away. She had to come back. <laughs> and since I've been back, I've become more active. Sorry, you have a mosquito on your face. Oh, thank you. One of the less good things about New Hampshire is there's mosquitoes a lot. So, so a lot of Sorry, in <laughs> interrupted you. <laughs> um, so once I moved back, I decided to become more active. Um, I am uh, joined a lot of groups. I did some volunteering recently, and. Um, been better and fun and um, the support is still here. I don't ever feel like I ever left the Free State Project. Oh yeah, we were here. We were waiting for you to come back. <laughs> Two years down the road. Uh, bigger and better. Well, Every day is better. Well, I'll tell you what, when I moved here, shortly after I moved here, it seemed like the Free State Project, um, the number, uh, the, the counter going up on the website, it seemed like it was kind of petering out. And I, just a couple years ago, I really thought that, you know, I thought, I'm glad I moved here because there's always going to be awesome people here. I met so many people, but 
I don't think it's going to happen. I don't feel that way at all now. I can't take any credit for um, getting new movers, but it's crazy. It's exploded. There are so many new people, and I, I'm amazed, and I have no doubt that we're going to be here forever. And I don't know what we're going to do. It's going to be amazing things. I can't even predict the awesomeness, but I'm very optimistic in a way that just a couple years ago I wasn't, because there's a lot of momentum. One of the things that I thought was great is while I was away, um, you know, I came back and all of the people that I thought I knew, I, uh, how do I put this into words? Um, when I came back, there was a ton of new movers that I had never met. So it had grown just in the year and a half that I had been gone to, I mean, I, mean, I know all the people now here, but when I first got back, well, I don't know them all. I mean, I know of them. But now I feel like I'm getting to know the people I know. So, like, because you know people through Facebook or whatever, or names or whatever. So that's like my new thing, like going and volunteering in Keene. Because I knew the people in Keene, but I didn't know them. So it's like getting to know people you know in the first How do you think you accomplished what you envision? So bad. I have no idea. What? <laughs> Sorry, what's the question? Because I don't think I know. <laughs> I am not an ideas person. Trigger the move. I just get the word out. I mean, it's it's great. Uh, visit and just see for yourself how, how much fun it is to have just hundreds of liberty-loving people you know, all over the state, your neighbors, your friends. Uh, I, think, um, I think we're doing it, and I think we just need to keep up the... Uh, the energy and the enthusiasm and the diligence and there's there's enough there's more than enough like-minded people out there already give it a chance it's a lot of fun it's an adventure welcome home welcome home <laughs> thank you uh my name is joe de phillips and i'm Carrie de phillips we came from pittsburgh pennsylvania almost a year ago exactly we moved uh, in September of 2012 and it we have I think an interesting story when I, on our first date Carrie introduced me to Ron Paul I believe he was on the Bill Maher show that evening and we watched that segment and the rest as they say is history. <laughs> Uh, the, so I, I learned, it, she was aware of the the Free State Project before that. Uh, she introduced me to the Free State Project as well. And I, personally speaking, I wanted to make the move and I liked the idea because I saw what was happening uh, in this country with the government and society as a whole. Um, I felt that it was going downhill at a rapid pace, which was scary, and I thought it would be a good idea to be somewhere with uh, a, a strong community who felt the same way uh, that, that we did. And our uh, moving story is also kind of interesting. We came to Porkfest last year, uh, so 2012. And we knew that we had to move soon. Um, we tried to look for some places before Port Fest, but we were we lucked out. And when we were driving home from Lancaster, we got a call from a, a realtor and said, "Hey, uh, I got some places here in Lincoln in the, the Woodstock area. Why don't you come and take a look?" At that point, we were just a few miles away, so we we pulled off. We went and looked at the place and uh, we put a deposit down that day and we've been living there ever since. It's really easy to move to New Hampshire, especially once you come here and see how beautiful it is, how welcoming the community is, and uh, how, how free it really is here. You save a ton of money in taxes. When you go to the grocery store, to any store, um, you pay exactly what's on the tag. You don't have seven or nine or however many percentage points added up or added on top of it. And uh, we saved a lot of money by moving here, for sure. The cost of living overall, um, in addition to the low taxes, uh, is a lot cheaper than where we came from. 
So, You're welcome home. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so where's the Free State Project going to be in two years, right? Is that uh, the next yeah. question? Yes. How do you get there? So I think that in two years, we are going to trigger the move. Uh, we're going to have 20,000 people signed up for the Free State Project, and I predict that in two years, there's going to be at least 2,500 people in New Hampshire. I think that we're going to double, double the living in the state population. And from there, it's only a matter of time before we hit the 20,000, and New Hampshire is even more awesome than it is today. So, uh, I mean, we've been meaning to, to move to New Hampshire for a long time, ever since New Hampshire was chosen as the, as the free state. Uh, and we come to the state a lot. We spent a few months here back in 2008. But then finally, um, last year, I decided to resign my job at SUNY Buffalo and apply for academic jobs just in the New Hampshire area, which is quite a bit of a risk because Risky. Yes. in the academic job world, you just don't know where you might get a job offer. We were tired of waiting. We were tired of waiting to come here, so we took a gamble. Yeah. Um, and fortunately, a job did come through. Just a one-year job at Dartmouth. Um, so that will be that will be nice, and that was enough to get us to move. And you know, we're going to make it work by hook or by crook. So um, we're just looking forward to to being here, and uh, I'm looking forward to teaching. Um, but we're also just looking forward to. Uh, to being with all of our friends here and, uh, you know, kind of uh, reigniting acquaintances and, you know, re refreshing those and, uh, and also just hitting the ground running with the activism, the, the, the Bearcat protest, we're going to be going to that on, on two Monday. two days. We just moved in and, yeah, two days from now. So, you expect everyday life to be substantively, substantively different in New Hampshire than in New York? Oh, absolutely. I mean, in New York, we were politically not active. I mean, I did other things in the community, environmental stuff and that kind of thing, and I still want to do some of that stuff in, in New Hampshire. But, um, but uh, you know, politically, New York and Buffalo in particular is just hopeless, so we didn't really pay any attention. We gave up. We gave we didn't, up. I didn't even vote because in New York, your vote, did, it doesn't matter. There's so many people voting one way, and it's hopeless. So, I mean, being here, we'll definitely be more involved. In some ways, it'll be the same for me, obviously, as a mom. You just do what you do with your kid, and I'm going to have to get her involved in things with all kinds of people, even people who don't like the free state. I imagine some of them will be my friends. Um, but I guess moving here, obviously, a lot of people came to welcome us here, and we are um, honored by that because, honestly, these are the people who have done the most. I mean, Jason had a good idea, he put it out there. But since we went to the first pork fest, um, we have just been blown away by what these people accomplish. And not just, you know, every year at pork fest and at Liberty Forum, but all the other stuff that they do constantly. And the way that they help people, just, just naturally. I mean, they do this for everybody. It's not just for Jason and them. We know that. And we're aware of that. And we, it kind of, I feel like there's a high standard for us. And it's not because of expectations of us it's because of what other people are doing and we want people to know that we're aware of what they are they are doing and that we want to give and contribute to that and we're, we're honored to be a part of it yeah absolutely the other, the other part of this I think that really made us urgently want to move is that we decided to have a child and, and we want our daughter to grow up as a granite stater uh, and, and she's at the age now where she'll start making memories and and new, new friendships. And she has some good friends in, in New York that we'll keep in touch with, but we're also sure that she'll make many new friends here. And, and we're also hoping to that. homeschool, and you know, yeah. homeschooling in New York would have been a disaster, oh, yeah. so we had a timeline. We had to come here with it by the time she was five. Um, so, and you know, if that doesn't work for her, we'll do something else, but we would like to do that. We'd like to have the opportunity to do it and to combine it with other activities that are so awesome in New Hampshire. There are just so many opportunities because there are a lot of home sports here. So there are activities and things that she'll be able to do with other kids and I'm really looking forward to, to doing that. Yeah, the access to the outdoors and things like that, it's just a great place to, to raise a kid. So. so where and how the FSP to you? Yeah, uh, well, Carla says she wants 20,000, and I think that's 
I think that's a good goal to set. I think that's attainable uh, because all of a sudden the, the Free State Project is a big national story again. And, and that's due to the hard work of people like Carla and Carrie uh, and uh, uh, Chris uh, Lopez as well. Um, you know, they've done a great job with publicity and just um, keeping track of new sign-ups and getting them information about the state and getting people to move. Um, There's been a lot more, I think, um, marketing that reaches more people. You know, it's it's less of a niche marketing thing that they've got going now. So that they're appealing to the average family. That you know, there's there are changes that almost everybody wants in this country. And unless it's phrased correctly, people don't realize that they agree with a lot of things that the Free State Project wants to do. And I'm seeing them do that on Facebook, and they're getting the message out in a way that my friends who aren't even libertarians are interested in. Um, it's it's pretty neat to watch. You see the the rate of signups, and it's. I think doubled over the last three years. So if we could double that again with it over the next two, then yeah, the sky's the limit. So yeah, I think people are seeing that it's working, and that's that's what we hope for to get that momentum where more and more good things happen, and more and more people are attracted to that. So more and more good things happen. So we'll trigger the move. Yeah, I think we'll trigger the move. Definitely, and I, I mean, I even if we. I don't think the number is so important. I think by two or three years from now, regardless of what the number is, there are going to be so many great people here already, and they are going to—they're going to be doing so much that we won't even need to trigger the move. I think it's just going to happen one way or another. That's what I think. Yeah, it's I mean, happen. people are moving regardless. Yeah, exactly. Point, but but it would be nice to, to hit that target number just exactly. so we can Get put that to done. bed. And, you know. And then we can just Who focus on that damn number. Yeah, that anyway. stupid oh, yeah. number. I, just, you know, <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. He really was young, and um, this was all a dream. I mean, it was just an idea, and it's so interesting that it's not now. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people forget. It. Even a lot of a lot of progressives and stuff want to want to talk about things I said when I was 24 years old. <laughs> the thing has evolved quite a bit yeah. since. Yeah, uh, and his his since thought processes essay. have evolved too. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Well, welcome home. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi, we're Phil and Christine Bonser. And uh, we initially joined the Free State Project about 10 years ago, more than 10 years ago, February 2003. We had been looking to escape California for uh, a couple of years, trying to figure out where we were going to go, where we could find reasonable laws, reasonable real estate costs, reasonable cost of living, and, and uh, low taxes and not so much government. Um, and I was researching that, and then I saw a small ad in the Libertarian newspaper about the Free State Project, and I said, this is exactly what we were looking for. So I showed Christine, and we signed up that day before the state was chosen. And went through that whole process of choosing the state and how we were going to vote for the state and all of that. Um, so it was a, an opportunity. A really, um, we were just looking initially for a place that was more free than California, which isn't that hard to find. Um, but we're really excited about the idea of joining with others to actually make progress and create freedom rather than just try and uh, take advantage of what still remains somewhere. Right. So we moved from San Diego to. Northwood, New Hampshire, which is about 15 miles east of Concord, the capital, and we did that almost exactly a year ago. It took us about almost 10 years to, to make the move. Um, we were initially uh, um, were excited in 2004 after the state was chosen, the first pork fest, we came out to tour the state and look around. Um, but it took a while to get our businesses ready to move, and then we uh, had a sort of a life detour and adopted a teenager, and so we stayed in California for a few more years to get her launched and independent. Um, and then we uh, finally managed to find a project for a work project for me out here, and we moved out uh, August of 2012. And what was the last question? Where do you, uh, where do you, where do you think, expect? Uh, anticipate free state project being in two years, how do we get it? Well, I think it's going to take a lot of people stepping up and, and volunteering, and we have a lot of that here, but we need more. Um, I think that we really can trigger the move in, in by 2015. Uh, we've seen numbers go up, we're doing a lot of PR, um, and 
the press is good. I mean, people are starting to pay attention. So I'm hoping within two years we'll have the 20,000 and people will start trickling in and make more of a difference than the original, the current 11 or 1,200 that are here now as early movers. Although the number that have been here, only 1,000 or a little more, have been making a difference already. So I think we start getting even five or 6,000 people will start seeing a real impact on, on local freedom and politics in the state. Um, so what I see in two years, I'm hoping, and I see that we'll have the, the move starting to happen and more people showing up, and then I think not too long after that, we'll start seeing some real progress in, in, in our freedoms, and it'll take, it took us you know, a couple hundred years to get where we are in this country, and it'll take several decades to get back to, a, or, or not necessarily back, because there were some significant freedom problems before as well, but to get toward a place of freedom, I think it's gonna be a long-term project, but I see that really starting to gather momentum in the next two to five years. Thank you. Welcome home. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Welcome home! 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 I mean, it's really nice. Like, oh, one six